Are you relying on a moderate to high carbon monoxide detector in your kitchen or wherever? Like I was with my Xsense carbon monoxide detector. So I never really took much notice because it's supposed to be a real time readout. It always says naught parts per million. And it's only if you take the time and effort to press the button to check for what was the last highest reading every so often it was saying like up to 35 so I'm thinking well it's not it's not actually giving me an alarm it's not actually giving me a warning probably not too bad um, so then I looked at what the um, the levels are for the alarm and it doesn't start alarming till 30 parts per million and only then if it's 30 parts per million for 120 minutes, two hours. At 50 parts per million, it will give you warning if you're exposed for an hour to an hour and a half. If it detects 100 parts per million, it will give you warning at 10 to 40 minutes of exposure. And at 300 parts per million, it will give you warning if it detects that for three minutes. So it's really just for acute levels of carbon monoxide. And that is how all these uh, domestic carbon monoxide detectors work. Now, I've got someone down from CASSAFE to test my, my cooker, and it was actually leaking at a low level between one to nine parts per million. And it's been doing that for a long time. And because my carbon monoxide detector wasn't alarming going off, I thought nothing of it. But actually, the at low levels for a long time so chronic exposure to low levels of carbon monoxide can have severe um, health consequences it is very dangerous and these carbon monoxide detectors are not warning you of that so um, officially um, 12,800 parts per million carbon monoxide you're dead within one to three minutes 800 parts per million you're dead within two to three hours 35 parts per million, which is basically where these start detecting from, um, it's, you're allowed to be exposed to that for eight hours is the recommendation. But here's the thing, if you're permanently exposed to low, levels lower than that, you're not getting a warning, it is dangerous. What you need is a low level carbon monoxide detector. This was 30 pound off Amazon and I can tell you it's accurate. What is this? First of all, this is the KK Moon, K-K-M-O-O-N, one word, Moon Carbon Monoxide Meter Detector. Well, and it's just a generic rebranding. I know that is the case because it comes in this box with no actual branding at all, other than the actual unit itself saying carbon monoxide meter on it. And it's only on the unit itself has any branding KK Moon with a part number GM8805. But here's the thing. The gas safe guy comes with a thousand pound detector and he's detecting one to nine parts a million. I tried it with that and it was giving the same reading up to between one and nine parts per million. So if you want peace of mind to know there's no leak at all and there's no low level, I recommend one of those for whatever appliance you're using. You know, if you're using a gas fire, it'll be on for, for hours and you really need to know. So. The downside of this is it's not like um, it's not like one of these you put on the wall, you fit and forget, because this will go into standby after about ten minutes. They're not designed to be left on all the time. Um, it will give a beep before it goes into standby, and if you press the power button, it will then tell you it's, uh, it will stop it going into standby, which is fine. But it it basically gives you peace of mind. Keep a hand in every so often. You give a quick test. Um, it um, it will tell you what the current level is, it just counts down. It should hit, um, by the way, it gives you the temperature as well. Really useful, not, but anyway. Um, so then we've got naught, naught parts per million. But if you go through um, its scanning sequence, it will uh, hold at that level. It will tell you the maximum level it's recorded since it's been on, the average level it's recorded since it's been on, um, and the, the current level in real time. So you're getting low level real time, which you don't get with that. Um, it's beeping, but it's saying naught, so I don't know why it's doing that. 
Um, yeah, so that was £30 off Amazon and uh, something I would <laughs> recommend uh, everybody getting because I certainly fell in the cart with thinking these things uh, are basically detecting any level of carbon monoxide and giving you warning at any dangerous level, but no, because actually the low levels, um, the warnings are based on recommended uh, length of exposure. So 35 parts per million, you're allowed to be in that for eight hours. You're not going to get a warning if it's less than eight hours. So you, it's all these levels. I mean, so going over the specs of that thing again, it's, um, it's 30 parts per million. It only warns you after two hours. So you put your cooker on, it could be up to 30 parts per million. You turn it on, but it's only been on for 20 minutes. You never get a warning. So yeah, I'm, I'm like <laughs> really furious about that actually, because um, it should come with some sort of indication that that, that is the case. But no, I mean, how many people <laughs> read the manual? So I've only read it uh, now, so okay. It could be my fault, but I just think, you know, I, I think people should know. So get yourself a low level uh, carbon monoxide detector.